type of one in the room if people in the conscious community are saying that Egypt has the oldest pyramidal structure in the world. I want you to type in the room if that's what they're saying today in the conscious community. And unfortunately, I got to say that's what they're saying today because every other day they switch up what they where they stand on. But is it not true that they're saying, right? Is it not true that they're saying that that's the oldest structure? The Gobekli Temple is in that region. It's in what is called Turkey today. But what you know is what you call it Turkey today, all of that was part of the Sumerian Empire. What you're calling Turkey today, Anatolia, the Sumerians had all of that, all of that. So it's not simply um, the Anatolian Empire or the, Tur the Turkish Empire. Remember, there are no Turks during the Sumerian period. There are no Turks during the Akkadian period. So they're not the ones building these temples. All right, let me show y'all guys something. I'm gonna show you Kemet's oldest pyramid. First, somebody tell me what's the oldest pyramid in Egypt? What's the oldest pyramid in Egypt, family? Okay, I just finished saying the Gobekli Temple, they're calling it Turkey today because of land borders being switched, but it's still the region of Southern Mesopotamia. It's still the region of Southern Mesopotamia, which was ruled by the Sumerians and the Akkadians. They are the builders. What is the oldest pyramid? That's right, step pyramids. So let's get a, let's get a working chronology. What is the date of Kemet's oldest pyramid? Watch this. Watch this, family. Let me blow it up so y'all can see. Does everybody see? I'll highlight it. That Kemet's oldest pyramid dates to 2600 BC. Does everybody see that Kemet's oldest period date pyramid dates to 2700 BC? Can everybody see that? If you can see that type of one. By the way, family, show your brother some love. Hit that cash app. We going in. Come on, y'all. Hit that cash app. Hit that PayPal. Uh, shout out to my brother, uh, Shamont. I got your donation, brother. Sh shout out to you. Family, hit that, hit that PayPal, man. Hit that cash app. Show your brother some love. Show your brother some love, y'all. Show your brother some love. 2600 BC. So watch this. Kemet's oldest pyramid is the step pyramid. And let's get a working image of it. The step pyramid was commissioned by... Nisut Zoser, Nisut Zoser, some say Joser, and the pyramid builder is Imhotep. The pyramid builder is Imhotep, and it's constructed, you guys really going to enjoy this, it's constructed in 2600 BC, and this is what it looks like. The entrance to the step pyramid is what is called a serek or a temple facade is what is called a serek or a temple facade. Shout out to brother Hakeem. I got your donation, Hakeem. Thank you. The entrance is a serek. Why is that important? Let me show you something. You guys are getting some serious work today. Let me show y'all something. We arguing with the so-called conscious community about things that children learn by the time they eight and nine years old. So that's sad. 
in the conscious community, we're arguing about things that little children are learning in school by the time they're eight and nine years old. And that's sad. Let me blow this up more so everybody can see. All right. Does everybody see my pointer in the middle? Does everybody see my pointer in the middle? Shout out to you, Jordan Tucker. I appreciate you, Aki. I got your donation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does everybody see the um, structure in the middle that I'm pointing to? This is the Narma palette that we're looking at, by the way. This is the Narma palette. I'm going to ask everybody, if you're not driving and if you are at home, to get a pen and a notepad. To get a pen and a notepad, because I'm going to give you something powerful. The earliest Egyptian kings, they wrote their names in what is called a serek. A serek is a frontal view of a palace, otherwise known as a palace facade. It's a frontal and sometimes side view of a palace, otherwise known as a palace facade. Later on in Egyptian his history, Egyptian kings write their names in what's called a royal chenu, which is like this elliptical. The French call it a cartouche, but the people of Egypt call it a chenu, and the king would write his name inside of it. But the earliest kings of Egypt, they put their names in this, which is a serek, and that's this. Does everybody see that what I'm pointing to? Does everybody see what I'm pointing to here? Can everybody see my arrow? Can everybody see my arrow and what I'm pointing to here? That's the palace facade. This is called a serek. S-E-R-E-K-H. This is called a serek, all right? This was at the entrance to many Egyptian pyramids. Now watch this. On the Narma palette, Narma is the king who is said to unite upper and lower Egypt. Narma is the king who is said to unite upper and lower Egypt. We know that this palette, this ceremonial palette that was found, we know it's Narma's palette because it contains Narma's name. Does everybody see that there's a catfish? A catfish here and a chisel here. Can everybody see that? Does everybody see that this right here is a catfish and this is a chisel? Everybody sees that. The catfish gives you gnar. The chisel gives you myrrh. Now watch how this is going to get real interesting. Because you guys should know, Narma is regarded to live in 3100 BC. Narma is regarded as someone who lived in 3100 BC. Anybody who studies Kemet could tell you Zion Lex is absolutely right. No hidden hands here. Narma is 3100 BC. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see that Narma is 3100 BC? Can everybody see that the king called Narma on the Narma palette? He reigned during 3100 BC. Everybody see that? Type of one in the room if you see that. Type of one in the room if you see that, family. I'm gonna make this work so easy yet powerful Y'all going to be astonished and amazed. So Narma in 3100 BC conquers and unites Kemet. Let me roll up my sleeves. They got me rolling up my sleeves, man. In 3100 BC, Narma conquers and unites Kemet. How do we know that? Because the Narma palette shows us that Narma conquered and united ancient Egypt. That's how we know that. The motifs on the palette show us that he conquered and united ancient Egypt. So that's how we know. Well, watch this. On the Narma palette, like the kings that come after Narma, 
Narma takes his name and he puts it in a temple facade, a palace facade. But that should be a red flag to anybody who studies history and chronology. Because I got a question. Narma has a picture of a palace facade on his palette in 3100 BC. Let's go back to this date. Didn't we just learn, guys, that the step pyramid was not constructed until 2600 BC? Didn't we just learn, guys, type of one in the room, if we all just saw that the step pyramid is 2600 BC? Let me go back to that real quick. Let me go back to that real quick so everybody can see. All right. Everybody see that date? Hold on. Hold on. 2600 BC. Watch this, y'all. And I want y'all to use this information. I told y'all to get pens and pads. Get pens and pads. Because this right here is what they say in Mortal Kombat, fatality. This is a fatality. Y'all ready for this one? In 3100 BC, Narma unites Kemet. And on his palette, which celebrates the unification of Kemet, he puts his name in a palace facade of a temple. But time out. Ain't no goddamn temple in Egypt in 3100 BC. So what temple is Narma showing on the Narma palette if Egypt doesn't have a temple for another five to 700 years? Like this chat room one with fire emojis. I swear to God, I wanna drop the mic and end the live right now because I'm going to embarrass them with scholarship. Light the chat room up, family, with some emojis. Light it up. Light it up with some fire emojis. As I prove to you what Narma is showing, Kemet does not have a pyramid in Egypt before 2600 BC. However, in 3100 BC, on the Narma palette, Narma has a picture of a temple. Clearly, it can't be a temple in Egypt because Egypt's first temple is in 2600 BC. But I'm about to show you what temple Narma was showing. Oh, sh y'all don't, don't mess with the wrong person. Y'all don't mess with the wrong person. Y'all don't mess with the, y'all don't woke up a sleeping lion. Watch this, easy work. You kidding me? Easy work. We had the children in our Hebrew class doing this last year. No joke. No joke. We had the children in our Hebrew class doing this last year. The children. Now watch this. Does everybody see it says, hold on, we're going to do the same thing. Does everybody see that there's a white temple in Uruk? And Uruk is in Mesopotamia or Sumer. And look at the date of the temple, guys. Look at the date. What is the date of the white temple in Uruk? Should I blow that up more? Guys, what is the date of the white temple of Ur? What's the date? Somebody write the date in the screen. Somebody write the date in the chat room. What's the date? Y'all playing with the wrong one. What's the date? Sumer already got a temple in 3500 BC, but watch this. Egypt's oldest temple is 2600. But there's a temple in Sumer called the White Temple, and that dates back to 3500 BC. What's 3500 minus 2600? Let's do the math. What's 3,500 minus 2,600? Let's do the math. Let's see how much older the temple in Mesopotamia is, and I'm about to show you a picture of it, than the first temple in Egypt. 
What is 3,500 minus 2,600? Somebody write in the chat room. Come on, y'all. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. Come on, y'all. This ain't for me, guys. This is for you. I know this. This is for you. 900. Let me ask you a question. In speaking of history, can the number 900 be rounded to 1,000, to be fair? In speaking about history, can the number 900 be rounded to 1,000? Type yes if that's true. Can 900 be rounded to 1,000? Is it closer to 1,000 or 500? Which one is it closer to? Okay, so watch this. Egypt doesn't have its first temple until 2600. Sumer has a temple that goes all the way back to 3500, almost a full thousand years before Egyptians even dream about building a temple. So I got a question. What temple is Narma showing on his palette in 3100 BC when Egypt doesn't have a temple for another five to 600 years? Are y'all hearing me? If y'all hearing me, blow this goddamn room up with some fire emojis. What temple is Narma showing on his palette in 3100 BC when Egypt don't have a temple until 2600 BC, almost five to 700 years later? Somebody say, throw in a towel, throw in a towel. To which Zion says, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> yeah. Throw in a towel, throw in a towel. Zion killing him. Zion, you got any words? I got some words. If he dies, he dies. So watch this, watch this. Let me show you guys a picture of the White Temple. Let me show you guys a picture of the White Temple in Suma. Remember, the palace facade that Narma is showing on his palette looks exactly like the entrance to the Step Pyramid in Egypt. However, the Step Pyramid in Egypt is 2600 BC. So what is Norma showing? Watch this. Watch this. This is the remains of the White Temple of Uruk today. These are the remains of the White Temple of Uruk today. Anybody know why it looks like that? What is the difference between building in Egypt versus building in Mesopotamia that allowed the Egyptian structures to last longer? What were they using in Mesopotamia to build their pyramids versus Egypt? Egyptian pyramids are built in stone. What are pyramids built with in Mesopotamia? Somebody tell me. Mud, clay, mud, guys. That's why it doesn't last as long. They were using mud for brick. That's why it's weathered. But they know what it looked like. So let me show you what it looked like. This is a picture, guys, of the White Temple of Uruk. All right? This is a picture, guys, of the White Temple of Uruk. And look at it. Guys, do y'all see that it has the same palace facade that you can find? Watch this on Norma's palette. Do y'all see that it has the same temple facade? that you can see on Narmer's palette. Light this chat room up, family. Fire emojis in this chat room. Are y'all kidding me? 
Our culture is young. We stole from y'all. We stole from y'all. We stole from y'all. No, you, no, you got to be retarded to history to say that. You, you do know that, right? Like you actually have to be a retard to history to make such a statement. 